Hello, my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Xenobelly Chronicles 2. We have done a ton of side quests and maybe put off saving the world for a little too long, but we will remedy that today because we are headed for the world tree. I hope you're excited because I'm excited to see what this game still has in store for us. So let's jump right into it. Oh, oh it looks like an elevator. Okay. Oh, we made it to the world tree. Finally, after so, so long. Oh, no turning back now. <sighs> Amor Ardain. Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. I see. This is even faster than the survey's estimated. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the royal precincts. So we can't hold out for long. Even here. Oh no. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature is increasing with its age. Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to Gormod. <gasps> we've only just recalled the consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormati. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. It's just, I fear time is running short. Indeed, but not only for us. Gormot is fertile for now, but the harvests have been declining for years. Oh, no. It's like a cry issuing up from the center of the world. <sighs> Your Majesty, what is it? Nothing. Just my imagination. My sister. Where are you now? Oh no. Are we going to lose more Ardain? <sighs> the Great Void, it's almost completely gone. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. So with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone. Here. Pyra. Oh. Wasn't there an elevator? The insides of the world tree. I'd never a thought. It seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan plant life. Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh. It seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh, Pyra, what did you do? Unlock the elevator? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is remembering something all by itself. It must be another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So, we need to hurry. She's very Why? nervous. Well, this was hardwired into my brain, so... Malos must have the same thing. Uh, that's, that's, that's true. Seems this is some kind of elevator. That's some fancy glazing. <laughs> Ooh, you never were good with heights. Shut your eyes. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so nervous. I feel like we're not going to find happiness in rainbows when we get to the top of the world tree to Elysium. This uh, does not look like happiness in rainbows. Let's just see if there's anything. I'm just seeing if there's like 
Anything I can pull from this. All right. Up. Up we go. Up. Twenty. I guess we don't. Oh. I guess it's kind of... <sighs> All right, uh... Had a little... You can die when we're done. Uh, oh. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Wow, you're not very encouraging, Malos. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. Uh -huh. When human cells are woven into the body of a blade, they awaken strange abilities. That's good enough for me. This'll do fine. Even though she'd hate you for it. Right? I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. <sighs> so, I've got to keep my promise. What was your promise? All right. I'm with you all the way. I don't know if. <sighs> hey, Jin. You better not get sentimental. I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, there that's were a rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, "Live together with the humans." Really? We were just living for the humans. That was what the architect ordained for us. Well, consider look what we became. Considering the state of Moritha, maybe they were trying to create weapons that could think for themselves and you're still sure have some morality. About what you want right? That thing. It's a reminder to remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. Really? I don't feel like that's all it is. <sighs> Just... oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm so stressed what I'm going to find here. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. And then, uh, <sighs> Oh, yeah, this isn't looking like sunshine and rainbows. Uh, nothing like, uh, Pyra remembers. <sighs> Finally made it to the world tree. Oh, <laughs> I'm so stressed. Oh, every step forward is just so stressful, but like in anticipation, not like, like dread, just like, oh, what am I going to find? Like, okay. Well, Underived. all right, we found a new <laughs> landmark. Oh, all in one piece. And a heart to heart. I don't know what I was expecting in here, but this jolly well isn't it. <laughs> it's just like, how disappointing. This is what I, I've dreamed about. You know, this is Elysium, but, uh, well, so disappointing. Tora surprised too. Insides of World Tree make Tora's head go all swirly whirly. Swirly whirly. When he's even getting to Tora, you know it's serious business. No need for surprise. Master Pawn lacking in many regards. <laughs> wow. In particular, 
common sense level close to zero percent. Thank you. Uh, Poppy, it go without saying, but Blade should not diss Master Pon. <laughs> Poppy get very impudent since activating cutie pie mode. She's always kind of bit, a bit like this. She is difficult girl. <laughs> we love her for it. Didn't you make her though? Yes, in manner of speaking, but Poppy is result of work of three generations. Actually, there are plenty in Poppy that Tora not know or understand. Hmm. Poppy's components contain elements from Professor Susu and Professor Tarazo in addition to Master Pong. Mm -hmm. Poppy comprise hopes and dreams of all three. Anyone might be stronger at any given time. Hmm. You're obviously a lot more complex than I give you credit for, Popster. Popster? <laughs> so, hey, Tora. Does that mean even you don't know everything she's capable of? That right? Nah, yeah, surprise. The basis of mode change function was laid down by Grampy Pon Susu. So part of system core is sealed mystery or black box. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. Does Are Poppy know? So in the dark here, Poppy? In the dark about functions? Right. Sure you've not got any hidden abilities kicking about in there? Let me see. Function identified. Sass! Oh, excellent. Let's see it then. <laughs> uh... What, uh... You know, Zeke said about the world tree is uh, how I feel about this moment. You can talk dog. What's going on? Dog mode. <laughs> the fact that it's like just barking and then dog mode. And then more barking. Poppy, what? That mode is only for park. I'm concerned. This is not the first time, Tora, we need to have a talk. Tora sealed dog mode so people not think Tora some kind of weirdo. Tora, they already think that. Yeah, that is more than a little bit weird. <laughs> I mean, come on, Tora. Why don't you just get a real dog? <laughs> Tora not have time for real dogs. Anyhow, Poppy, surely that's not the only ability you've got. Do you really want to pry into more considering what you just saw? You don't have any hidden function we could use for battle or exploring. Something like that. That would be useful. Even without Torah, you must be able to do a bit of digging around in that black box of yours, no? Negative. Negative? <laughs> and arrived. <laughs> oh, there's a heart to heart. All okay. in one piece. So, Rex. Do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Well, we're at least inside the world tree, so... Do you even have to ask? <laughs> don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here, then. Curiosity got the better of her. No, that's not what I mean. I just wanted to clarify how everyone truly feels. Like, is it going to be up to your expectations? After all, don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? Fair enough. Well, I guess so, but... Our chum here has seen the real deal in his dreams or whatever, right? Or at least what we think it will be like. The wide green fields and a warm breeze and a beautiful city like nothing I've ever seen. Pyra was standing on top of a hill overlooking it all. That's her memories, though. I'm sure it must have been Elysium. There's no place like it in Orest. Mm. The place you saw in your dream. Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? Well, I mean, uh, Pyra came from somewhere. Don't you trust me and Pyra, Morag? Oh, no, I trust you both. But memories... But just because a place exists in your dreams does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. Yeah. Zeke, can you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? I mean, it could have also been Martha. Well, I guess I have wondered from time to time. At the end of the day, the only way to be truly sure is to go there, right? 
Yep, we're just gonna keep going up. True enough. As for now, Rex believes it's real, and that's enough for me. <sighs> oh, <Aww>, Zeke. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist, but even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? I mean, hey, there's plenty enough space for people to live here. Our chums on a mission. I to mean, help we need Pyra food, though. Dream. Whatever the outcome, I want to see that through to the end. A mission. So what if there's no proof? Chasing after dreams is what real men are born to do. <laughs> Very well. I appreciate your passion. He's got passion, yes. <laughs> Though I'm not quite sure I understand your notion of a real man. <laughs> Just a very slight shade. Hey, no worries. You'll figure it out eventually. That's... I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. <laughs> Zeke, there are some things in this world you don't joke about. And you don't really joke with Morag. Morag does not understand you. My temper has its limits. She, she will smack you. Would you like me to teach you a lesson you <laughs> ever forget? She's like, come on, I'll fight you. Uh, Morag, you're scaring me a little. <laughs> hold it, hold it, I was just joking around. <laughs> L listen, nobody needs to die here, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is Morag's sense of humor. I can get behind it. Oh! Well, no, I guess it's safe. Anything hidden over here? I guess not. It's fine. They they don't know what radiation poisoning is. Alright. Uh, I feel like there should be warning signs, like don't swim in this. But I guess uh, if you're here, you would probably know not to do this. I am just like, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells of just anticipation. The eggshells of anticipation. That's okay. That's a phrase. <laughs> Let's just see if we can make it to the end of chapter eight. <sighs> what is that? There's still a lot of stuff up there. What is that? Is that just like a control panel thing? Oh. So nervous. Rex Rex look worried. Maybe Rex Rex lost wallet? <laughs> it's not that. Oh, I see. Well, maybe your worry is your wallet's empty. We have nearly well, two million. True. I don't work much these days. We have two million hey, gold almost. why are you so interested in my finances all of a sudden? What is up with you, kid? You've been a right gloomy guts lately. What? Hmm. I was thinking about Amalthus. Uh, if what yeah. Jim said is true, the Praetor doesn't just hate blades, but humans too. I mean, he basically hates the whole world, seems like. How so? In old Torna, humans lived together with blades that eventually became titans. Mm hmm So destroying Torna was the same as destroying the titans. Amalthus must have known that the titans have been dying off over the last few centuries. Cannot live without titans! Everybody go bye-bye! But why? Maybe the Praetorium saw it as an obstacle to their power. If the Blades were becoming titans and creating new land, people might have more faith in the Blades. If a new faith emerged, it would threaten the Praetorium and its dogma. Hmm. I understand that much. That's just war and politics. But you can't cont have power but without, you know, people. Rex? Hating people. Hating yourself. Where does it end? There's something going on what with him when and you hate the whole world. Malos. You mean destroy it. That's all that's left. Why? Tell Just corrupted by Malos? That's a leap of logic. But I think a lot of mortals are like that. Do you remember? 
talking to the Praetor. I said it felt like talking to Malos. Yeah, you did say that. It's a funny thing. Malos and the Praetor, they want the same thing. Is it because that's what the Praetor wanted? Okay. Where's she going? Stop! Stop! Here! She went this way! To lead them away. Mother! Mother! Why were they being chased? Oh, that's... Wasn't quite expecting that. Yeah, that would uh, warp a child a little. Just a bit. It's too quiet. Your Eminence, we'll be exiting the Cloud Sea shortly. Exiting the clouds. What? Below. A dark mass in the cloud sea. It's. Uh. Is that. All of. Indol? To be fair, uh, Jin was Indo. trying to heal. What? Hi. First, how long it took? Oh. Uh. This is just reminding me of Telethia. Branter is the one we should be really afraid of, I think. They took us by surprise. Petroka, prepare the defenses. I'll analyze the threat. I'm on it! 
You need a counterattack, damn it! Stop trying to give orders and get to it! Ugh. Ugh! Where's Mikhail? What a time to let us down! Mikhail's down below. Below? But... Got it! A bypass to the cannons. Watch this, scum. Ready? Ready. The ship will get you as far as the boundary layer. We can drop you and Malos off there. We'll have to. All rest ships can't make it past the boundary layer. Yeah. No sweat. Jin, you are okay with this, right? Mikhail. Hmm? Take care of Laura. <sighs> Jin? Akos, fire up the blade bots. Time to strike. Jin! Malos! Indol. They got here sooner than we thought. Oh, you were planning on they that. They gave up on the boy pretty quick. No surprise. Hatch open. Ready to launch. Okay. Launch. This took a turn I wasn't quite expecting, but... Indol is now a hostile power. You can no longer continue any quests that you accepted in Indol. Uh, Merc missions accepted, dev points acquired, will be transferred to Lotharia. What? <laughs> I think I did everything there, but, uh... Okay, well... Uh... <laughs> we just had this, you know! Okay, and Doll's just, you know, going to attack everything and do 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 do. Okay, so if. Oh! <gasps> right, I forgot. That was. It's so well, quiet. No way I'd ever have guessed the world tree was like this on the inside. It definitely appears to be man made. Mm. Created by the same civilization as Moritha. The birthplace of the architect. That's what Jin called it. Then maybe the architect built this thing. Do you really think we're going to find him at the top? And Elysium too? We're gonna find something. From what we saw in Moritha, it seemed like all that stuff happened a gazillion years ago. Yeah. Or maybe two gazillion. I don't know. But at the same time, all this stuff is Not working. Not even Titans live that long. Even Pyra and Mithra have never actually met him. But this tower's right here. It's real. So... Seeing is believing, is the phrase. Hmm? We'll just have to find out for ourselves. There's no use speculating. Mia, what's wrong? His tummy started rumbling. Oh, for the... Every time with you, it's, have you lost your wallet? Or, are you hungry? Is that really all you can think of? Meh. <laughs> well, the Tora thought food is only thing that makes Nia all um growly, growly. Watch it, Furball. <laughs> what is Nia's problem? That's not a nice way to ask, Poppy. But I let it slide. No There's fighting. To ask you, Blades. Tell the truth. Have you ever wanted to extend your life? <laughs> Avoid returning to our cores? Yeah. That's a tough question. I would like to keep learning about my former selves, but to keep living after Morag is dead... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I understand. <sighs> the idea of living on without her does not appeal to me. Yeah, mm. same here. I want my memories of the Prince to be just between us. 
You're mm. going to make me blush, Pandy. Jomak? As long as I'm by my lady's side till the end, then I'm satisfied. Poppy is artificial blade, so it is very sad for me to think about. When Master Pawn is gone, Poppy will be widow. Meh. Well, not quite. <laughs> but I get where you're coming from. Leave your own face. Pyra? Well, I... It's different for you, right? You've been alive for a few centuries. You have the other side of the coin. Did I ask you? Pyra, what do you think about it? Really? Hey. Sometimes I wondered why I have to keep on living forever. Just on and on, no end in sight. But it's different now. I'm glad I've stayed alive all this time. Mm -hmm. Parting is always sad. But it's just part of the deal of being me. Yeah. And also, oh. the information she can pass Maybe. on is... Maybe one day I'd be happy to close my eyes forever. With someone special. There. By my side. Pyra. That's how Pyra. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing with me. You kind of, yeah, have a different so, what made you perspective ask? on it, because... I'm a flesh eater. So, I don't know how long I'll live for. Mm. I mean, for all I know, I might just sniff it tomorrow. My lady. But I can say this much. My life and death isn't tied to any human. And? Mm. It's Jin. I've been wondering. Jin was collecting core crystals. But why didn't he use them? Doesn't he hate humans? He could use them to create blades, then turn them into flesh eaters. He could expand Torna with no need for humans in the mix. They do That's lack numbers. True. Is that all of them? Yeah. It's just the five of them. That's it. When Malos suggested getting Obrona and Akos to resonate, Jin was dead against it. So I think maybe... Maybe Jin fears the same way as us. Hmm? The same way as us? I think maybe that's why he won't resonate with anyone. <sighs> okay. Very s sad moment there. And just food for thought. I'm trying to. Because even the other. Centorna, Akos, and them seem to be worried about him and his choice. Like, and Mik Mikhail was like, Are you okay with this? Oh, what lies at the end of this birdway to the seventh perimeter? <sighs> An explosion? A battle, perhaps. Oh, we can see out. So, this is what the world trees really like. These, they aren't leaves. They're glyphs. Oh. Hey, look! An old Tornan warship. Didn't think there'd be any of those left. Never mind that. What's this? Uh, I had no idea Indo could make it up this high. Or th cloud sea that. long way down. It appears that Indo has modified their Titan as old Temperantia did with theirs. But that much firepower. 
much. I did not know Indol possessed so much force. Yeah, you no think? No need to ask what they plan to do with it. Yeah, no, not really. They anticipated it. That Jin and Malos would try to ascend. So, Jin is inside that thing? Yes, no doubt. Let's hurry. We can't let them make it to Elysium. <sighs> oh. Okay. Well, guess save. <sighs> Wait, we're going in the wrong way. Uh, please don't anyone get shot by the lasers. I think the, the world tree might be kind of protecting us. You know you can't control it. I hear you've been promoted. By the Praetor. You? Why? <laughs> Just thought I'd come and say goodbye. Would you rather I leave without saying anything? Goodbye? What would compel you to leave me? You are my... I've got full control of all my powers now. It doesn't matter if you die. I can keep on going. What are you saying, Malos? The Praetorium, the Believers, I despise them all. Humans aren't fit to breathe our air. So, I'm going to give you what you always wanted. But... I never... I'm clearing out the worthless. Isn't that why you sought the architect? Why you climbed the world tree? Okay. Yet look at you now. There must be someone out there who can use this core. I'll send them after Malos. I'm trying to write what you did, or no, no, you're just kind of insane. Okay, I had hope there for just like half a second, like oh, maybe, maybe you're like oh, maybe stop Malos, but uh, no. Never mind. I, t I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. That that was foolish of me. All right. Like my question is though, <laughs> it's like you can't touch it, otherwise you might resonate with it. Do you just have to pick it up with like tongs? Just like imagining like, okay, let's put this back in the box, you know. What if what if gloves? Do gloves work? Does it have to be touching, you know, bare skin? Or, or, or do gloves work? Or do you have to use, like, tongs to pick up crystals that you don't want to try to resonate with? How does that work? Indoline warrior monks. 
to the Aegis and her driver. We're here to pass on an order from his eminence. An order? You are to use the Aegis's power to bring down that ship. Huh? What's wrong? This is your duty, Pilgrim. My only duty is to open the way to the World Tree. You cannot do it? If so, then we must take the Aegis into custody. Uh-huh, and what makes you think you can do I that? I get it now. They just wanted to use Mithra's power to burn up their little problem. Hmm. Nothing new under the sun. I didn't say we couldn't do it, but we have to stop Jin. Tell your boss, that's what we're doing, okay? We don't negotiate holy decrees. Okay. If you don't comply, then prepare for righteous chastisement. Okay, prepare for death. Uh, pre do, do you guys, did the Indolene have like last rites? We can try to, you know, do that during this uh, battle. Let's go. Okay. star. Well, hi. Okay. Topple. Yes. Let's go. Did you say on your head? Do you want us to break dance? What? <laughs> I, I'm sure I missed part of that, but okay. All right, well. Okay, well, that's down. Oh, not that it really matters. <laughs> You're just like the indolent version of the... <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine here. Oh no, I don't think of launch. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right, well. Ha have a nice, you know, oh. Literally, just gonna throw them the off. That we're... Uh. What is even happening? Oh. Mithra! What are something, someone? Is this the this effect? Can it be? Oh, even. Please forgive my interference. Even I on a Titan. A, uh, a Malthus. I. That's Hayes's core crystal. I the knew it. Oh, that's it, all right. The other half. What is it? Nia? Uh, Amalthus. He took Van the Nord's core crystal. He's using her power. <gasps> Not only that, this is in fact my original primal power. What do you mean? Mitra! The, the artifice! No! Stop! Uh Mitra! Mitra! Hmm. 
mean? Okay. He needs, you know, a smack Is that or two or Is three with a very, Jesus? very sharp sword. <laughs> no. But who? A Malthus. A Malthus? He's my driver, and I'm an Aegis. If that energy gets any stronger, you won't just control the blades, but Mithra too. Well, in this case, we're kind of on the you same side as... Disappoint. I am the driver of the Master Blade. Bow before me, the Master Driver. I possess the power to command all blades. Every blade alive. Indeed, even the very titans are under my control. That must be how he repelled the attack. Sooner or later, he'll control us too. Don't worry, half-breeds like you won't come under his control. Sure, he can dampen your power. But that's why we built those things. I don't even know who to root for at this point. Like, I'm not sure really with uh, Malos, but uh, the Praetor does need smacked. Mikhail's creations will not submit to Amalthus's control. And neither will this bucket of bolts. We're nearly at the boundary layer. Jin, Malos, get ready. Roger. What is going Malos. on? Let's move. Yeah. Mikhail, Akos, Petroka. It's up to you now. Sure. Yeah, we get it. Hey, when you see our daddy, dear, tell him thanks for everything from me. Uh, he's kind of far away. We need to go smack him. How do we smack him? Can we just like point? Okay, he's Perhaps been a little crazy. The ship stopped moving. Looks to me like they're gonna try and get inside. Amalthus, we're gonna stop Jin, but you've gotta stop this. You're speaking nonsense, boy. Now is the hour of their doom. You leave me no choice but to perform your duty for you. Destroying Jin and Torna? We're only trying to stop them, not kill them. You believe you can sway them with words of reason? I mean, hey, oh, we yes. worked together before. Jin told me what happened. What happened 500 years ago. And you were the cause of it, weren't you, Praetor? I was nothing but the mouthpiece of the architect. When I meet him, I'll ask him myself. About me, about Pyra and Mithra. That is not your right. It is mine. Ah, uh, you're not the only master driver. Why don't you just aim it at his face? <laughs> you resist. Again? You defy me again? Malthus, you won't get what you want. Aim it at his face. I'm Rex's blade. Th that's right. Rex. You're the Aegis's driver. There's nothing he can do that you can't. Does that mean... Rex, it's true. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. Right? We can do it! With the power of friendship! <laughs> Smack him in the face! I mean, it may just be a hologram, but smack him in the face! Until we can actually smack him in the face. Ooh. Just blind him. That works too. I can 
Move. Rex! I'm okay. I... I won't let him get away with this anymore. He's just manipulating humans and blades alike. That's not the Architect's will at all. Give it up, Amalthus! You can leave Jin and the rest to us! And then we'll come back and smack you. Smack him in the face. Where are they? The tree. Ah. Soon Malos will activate Ion. Ion? If we can hold this position and prevent the scum from ascending, then victory is ours. Okay then. We've got to go all out. So tense, like I don't even know sure who I'm rooting for at this point. <laughs> Other than Rex and friends. I'm like, maybe we can reason with Malos and The Vortex! Your Eminence, the Tower. At peace, brother. The field of effect is only a little reduced. Hmm, it is drawing near. Gather the brothers together. We must exterminate the vermin! Weren't you just like preaching peace? Uh. No soul alive. They sully the architect's presence. Uh Uh Excuse me towards the end here you know stuff is gonna happen wasn't quite expecting that i'm pretty sure that was more a dane's titan wasn't it uh but yeah let's smack the printer in the face at some point i don't know when we get to smack him in the face but let's smack him in the face uh that's that's what i want Ah, oh. okay. Revere the architect, but also he's kind of insane, so
Oh, he is, uh... Ah, merciful. What exactly is motivating you? Architect, is this the world that you intended? <laughs> that too close! Meh! If we just a bit higher, it would have hit us! Where did... Uh, can we just hide in the world tree? More Ardane. Impossible. I don't think they're actually doing anything. Are you hooked? You're gonna lose What's more Dane too. The Titan just released a vast amount of energy from its chest. We think the brownout may be linked to that. Majesty, we strayed off course, but we managed to confirm our current position. Where are we? Look. That's. Uh, again, how do we stop Curse. this? More Ardane can't afford to lose any more energy. Somebody smack the predator in the face. We can't do it, he's too far away, but somebody. Person and his and end all is like, is hmm, going to shoot again? this seems like a bad that idea. Good. The Ardanian Titan is said to be at the end of its lifespan. If it were to release any more of the ether energy stored within its body, he's like, I'm just gonna kill an happen? entire nation. It would collapse, its joints giving way under its own weight. Uh, please tell me we can stop this. No, 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 no. Uh. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Now he summons even Titans? Akos, over there! Go smack the predator in the face! The people here have My no queen. idea what's going it's on. Done. The world tree. Moradain. Indo. What the blazes is going on out there? Are you just trying to kill everyone? Are you just. Are you trying to get to the architect? Are you trying to prevent anyone to get it to the architect? This is madness! Does he mean to gather all the titans in one place? Akos, Petroka, Mick, go, go keep Jin and Malo safe. <laughs> He's just like what so blase about. This? All of a sudden, we must be ready for the worst. But what about Indol? They're gathering Titans from. I'll deal with it. Deal with it. Alone? Don't be a fool. It's fine. I put this all together in the first place, remember? 
I can control everything from here. Besides, oh, he I'm not exactly alone here. Nick! Go, and do what I can't. Okay. Petroka. Uh. Petroka. I love you. <laughs> this is uh You are so gross, <laughs> Mick. Make sure you come back alive so I can punch you for saying that. <laughs> I didn't figure she would take well to that. That's a deal. Oh my gosh, I'm like so stressed out. <sighs> what? Impressive. Oh, look, someone they can punch the Praetor in the face, maybe. The ship, it's. That shape. It is just like a titan. <sighs> you old fool! Here I come! Titan versus Titan. So it begins. Now's the time. Let's get after Jin. But the Titans, Rex. We can't do anything about Let's that. Let's focus on what we can do right now. Morag, don't worry. The Emperor is my brother, after all. I'm on it. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Okay, I have to go at least by there. Not murder more a day. Uh, well, bye. Your Majesty, I'm okay. Issued the evacuation order across the capital. All army vessels can be used, including my private ones. Save as many as possible. You first, sire. Don't mind me. Hurry, now. Morardine cannot hold, unfortunate though it may be. Majesty. Go! Sir! Ah! We just need to give it some crutches. Just... It's fine. If you are there, please, please. Save more Ardain in the world. It's just so young. Your eminence, the foes have been sighted. 
the lost technology of old Torna. How astounding it is that it still works. Surprised, eh? There are still a few of us hanging on. A survivor. Flesh Eater. You followed him down that dark path. Ha. Huh. In that case... Oh! Oh, nice try. But that's not gonna work on me. And that's because... You and I are the same. What? <laughs> I am... A Blade Eater. Impossible! <laughs> the Blade Eater technology is not known outside the Praetorium. You're right. But that doesn't mean you're the only one. Or have you forgotten what you did before in planting your core crystal? You don't mean you are one of the refugees from back then. But all of them were... Disposed of, right? Sure, you tried. But some of us weren't about to die that easily. I lived on. Okay, you have a good reason to really not like him. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Aim for the tower. He's up in there. Oh, you're just gonna scale. I'm I'm sorry, refugees. I'm very sorry, refugees. I'm super sorry, you refugees. Didn't even evacuate them. You're the same as ever, Amalthus. Smack. I'm sorry, but this is a fight I can't back down from. Uh, At this rate, he'll destroy all rest before Malos does. He's not. He's yeah. What you mean? Desperation at not getting the Aegis. That man. What's his plan? Why would he be so intent on obtaining the Aegis? Maybe he thinks he can use it to take we've, out the architect or something? something. To stop the Titans fighting. That's easy to say, but what can we do about it when they're all the way out there? Got it. The glowing pillars. Just then, when one of the pillars got wrecked, Amalthus's power got weaker for a moment. So if we smash the pillars, he'll lose control over the Titans. It's worth Mithra. a Mithra. Okay, Mithra. Let's do this. And we only want to hit the pillars? Yeah. It's moving far too much. I, I can't get a clear shot. This isn't going to work. <sighs> oh, man. I know. Mithra! What? Just hit where the Praetor's at. Just, it's fine. If we can get a little closer, we might be able to do something. Is that true, Pyra? Probably. Think back. <sighs> do you remember our fight against Jin? By rewriting the physical laws of the surroundings, we were able to match Jin's speed. 
If we rewrote them in the same way, in the midst of battle between those two? <sighs> From our point of view, it'll be like they've frozen in place, huh? Okay. But how do we get there? Uh, Tora, have good suggestion! Poppy! Think you could grab Mithra and Rex Rex and carry up there? Yes, Poppy can carry two people, no problem. Ta-da! <sighs> okay, let's do it. Everyone else after Jin. <sighs> Hang on. We don't have time to argue here. We can do this. Don't worry. We're gonna make this work, right? Right. Rex Rex, please remember, Poppy booster time limited. Understood. We'll get as close as we can. I think I just need a moment to process this. Just curious, can I even? Oh, I can. Well, this is, you know, also fascinating to watch. Just seeing this battle go on. Well, this is absolute chaos. I'm just, oh, poor Mordain. It's just over there. It's I was so confused and tan tall. This. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely insane. Uh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting. It. I guess it makes sense and why, like, oh, Titans come from blades, but. I wasn't expecting him to be able to take control of the. Why can't we? We can. Oh, I guess, yeah, he also has. Haze slash Van Lenorn's power. That probably also helps him. Well, uh. I, I guess the Nopons didn't really need to have a, uh. You know, apocalypse ritual because, uh, here it is! Basically, here's the apocalypse. Uh. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to call it here then. I have no idea of where to even begin. That went from like, okay, he's probably going to be up to some non nonsense to absolute insanity. It, it, just the span of no time at all. What is happening? I figured we're coming to the end of the game that, you know, uh, some chaos was inevitable. Probably a lot of chaos. I wasn't expecting all the titans to just start an all-out brawl because of the Praetor. Can we smack him in the face? Do we get to smack him in the face? I want to smack him in the face. We can worry about Jin and Malos later. Jin and Malos are d just side problems for the time being. I think it's doubly intense because we've just like do 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 side quest. Oh, getting to know all these new blades. Oh, isn't this wonderful? We're getting to know them and then suddenly just absolute war. But yeah, his backstory is kind of traumatizing and I kind of understand why he's a bit messed up. However, that doesn't give him an excuse to murder entire nations. Can we just not do that? I, I can't even imagine, like, why? Yeah, but he basically said, like, no mortal should be in the presence of the architect. But then he's like, architect, is this the world you wanted for us? Like, do you like the architect? Do you not like the architect? I'm kind of getting mixed messages here. So it's like, do you think he could fix the world? Do you want to take him out and create your own new world? Yeah, I don't, I don't quite get him fully yet. I'm getting a slowly a better picture of the Praetor of Amalthus, but I'm still very confused by him. Also, Mikael, yes. Mikael was... Yeah, that's doubly complicated. More messed up things that the Praetor kind of did, but uh, kind of came back to uh, bite him in the butt, so... I need time to just process what happened. I think that's the biggest thing, is I just need some time to process what's happened and 
try to piece some things together in my head before I just rush in. Apparently we can travel to the other Titan still. Um, I'm kind of really frightened too that we're going to lose some Titans. So yeah, so let's uh, maybe just kind of run around and see if there's anything I've missed. Oh, I knew what I was getting myself. I knew what I was getting myself into too. That's the problem. I willingly walked into this. Even if this is going to emotionally destroy me, it's great. It's uh, it's still really fun. All right, my beautiful beans and things, you know what time it is. It's time to read some comments. The first comment today is by Trekker Tech. Wow, Bridget really went swimming to catch Uman in case he jumped. Bridget, try to talk him out of it. If you can't, I'm ready for plan B. I like your interpretation of that way better. Bridget is just obviously one step ahead because she already knows how dramatic Nopon can be, especially if they're a part of Tora's family. No one is normal in Tora's family, even by Nopon standards. So Bridget knows she has to be prepared for all possible scenarios. But honestly, I think it's just because my blades and party members just really like throwing themselves off of cliffs. Like all the time. Constantly. But anyways, thank you for your interpretation of that. That definitely made me laugh. And thank you for your comment. The next comment is by Mr. Author 3 ds To be fair, I don't think either choice would convince Jelvid to let go of his grudge. And one more, yes. And this one's the rarest. Get ready to burn through a lot of core crystals. But if you want your best chances, increase the driver's luck as much as possible and give them justice boosters. I think you're right in that either choice of letting him stay or having him exiled from the town wouldn't really change Jelvid's obsession with revenge. But maybe we shouldn't have encouraged him to get revenge in the first place. Maybe giving him better life advice the first time around would have been the better option. We'll blame Rex. Rex is just out here being a poor role model. But I am kind of interested in whether or not choosing a different option the first time you meet him would change the quest in any way or give you a different quest. Would Nick even show up in the village? I'm very curious. Maybe I'll have to test that out during New Game Plus. As for your second point, oh, I know. I absolutely know. It took me forever. And it's probably the biggest reason you're going to see me struggle in battles from now on. <laughs> because I would put luck blades on Zeke to give me the best chances possible and then forget to remove them before battle, which meant I had blades with absolutely zero upgraded attack power if I had Zeke in my party. So many times I was like, why is this thing not dying? Why is this so difficult? Oh, I forgot to take Zeke's luck blades off. But bad life advice and my forgetfulness aside, thank you for your comment. That's going to be it for today. So as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon.